Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, looking for the top health and fitness business owners throughout the world. And I'm excited to be joined today with DeAndre, owner of AGX Group. How are you today? I'm doing phenomenal. Thanks for having me, Brad. Happy to be here. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to talk to you because you're all about connecting health. It's all about yeah. the people you know, um, having the experts and people you can trust around you. Um, tell us a quick overview of what AGX Group is. Sure. So um, AGX is short for American Group Fitness. Um, we are a provider of premier business support and health management services. Um, I started AGX in 2015 after um, spending a month and a half at a VA hospital. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder um, after, after my combat tours and came back home close to 300 pounds. And um, I was able to get back into the community and build myself back up. Uh, and not only that, but to start American Group Fitness um, as a, as a national wide um, organization that uh, stands front line on the front line for veterans health care. Well, so you had a, a problem, something happened to you, you found yeah. a solution, and now yeah. you're helping others with that. Yeah. Well, first, yeah. first of all, thank you for serving for us. I appreciate that. How many years were you in the service? So I did four years uh, active from 2001 to 2005. I was in um, Iraq and um, I did four more years reserve. My goal was to be a drill sergeant, but it just didn't work out. I got too tired, man. I was worn out and uh, yeah. needed, needed some time off. And then you mentioned you were 300 pounds when you got up. Yeah. So I was, I was, um, after coming out of the VA hospital, um, you know, wrestling with nightmares and, 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 um, um, alcohol addiction, um, I came out close to 300 pounds. I mean, wow. you know, they pump you with, you know, medication and all you do is sit and eat. Um, and, and you come out unhealthy, unfortunately. Um, and so not many of us come back from that. Not many of our guys come back from that. And I was able to come back from it just because of the community support and my family, my wife, of course, um, and hard work, <laughs> hard work. Yeah, it's yeah. tough. But so yeah. you mentally got through it, you found a solution. Now you're helping others that are going through this and um, you know, any, also any veterans. Yeah, yeah. What, what did you learn from going from 300 pounds? You've mentioned stress a couple times to me yeah. to where you're at now. Um, what are some of the solutions that you found? Yeah. So here, here's what I tell people. All, all new life begins in dark places, right? So a mom carries a baby for nine months before that baby comes out into the new world. And that baby is in, is, in, is in darkness for nine months and it's pushed out and that baby comes out screaming. So this is the, um, the nature of life. And this is what I've learned that, I, you know, not to take my dark places, um, not to go too low, not to go too high, um, but to find what works for me um, unapologetically and to live it in a manner that includes the helping of other people, because that's where the real energy comes in. Um, when you when you expose yourself to the community and you help others, you know things just began to begin to work for you, and that's what it was for me. I began to meet people who had the same ideas that I had regarding care, um, less pharmaceuticals, more community, more active um, um, movement, and more you know better nutrition. And so we built a model around that, and the model is being presented nationwide to every government agency. And so we're currently working now with the Department of Veteran Affairs in Chicago, Illinois, offering our services and presenting our services nationwide. So we have a, a group of professionals that are um, uh, subject matter experts. Um, they've created their own novel programs that are all based on mental-based uh, stress, stress reduction. And so we're not knocking out the idea that you need prescriptions Yep. You may need them for a while, right? But we want to include this whole the, the, the reality that nothing happens until you move, right? Momentum comes before motivation, right? Momentum I like results, that, yeah. momentum results then motivation, right? In order for me to get moving, in order for me to really get the results, I got to get moving. And so there's no motivation until you see something happening, and that's the that's the whole key that we want to put on the front lines in our veteran community. Okay, now are you working specifically with the veterans when you go into the government agencies and or helping with their health and their fitness, or yeah, so is it the, really yeah, anyone? So, yeah, the majority, well, both. We work um, on the consumer side here locally in Baltimore, D.C., Virginia, 
Um, we do events in Michigan as well. Um, for the consumers, we provide that same type of uh, service and solution uh, for corporate entities, uh, for for um, high school uh, sport teams. Uh, it's really the inclusion of the social aspect of the team and the group towards resiliency. And so um, for the veteran population, because of my personal experience and because of my uh, experience with post-traumatic stress disorder, um, which is a diagnosis that pretty much, if you've experienced some form of trauma, you probably um, you know, are, are struggling with that. So on the basis of that, we know that, that you know, we are living in a society we, where we are the most drug cohort ever, adult cohort ever. And so this is not just for the veterans because it's, it's nationwide. It's a problem that we want to address on a nationwide level. Um, so right. we're offering, right. yeah, to our consumers here locally and to veterans, yes. Okay, so you built a team around you that you can trust and experts in their field. Uh, yeah. um, you found a solution to, you know, people with issues or things that they're going through in their life, and now you're helping them. I think that's huge. And I want to bring up, you know, people live stressful lives. I, we see it growing more and more. Obviously, coming out of the military is a very high stressful environment. Is that something you see most people struggling with? I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely. Like cutting out? <laughs> I, I tell people, um, I felt like I was down, downsized when I came out of the military. I wasn't ready for that transition. Many of us are not ready for that lofty transition. Um, and so uh, you come out ill-prepared emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, and then, of course, career, you know, for career-wise, you have no idea what you're doing. That transition alone is can be hell for families, for veterans. Um, and it really sets the tone for their next five years. It really does. And so, yeah, that was the very, that was the, that was the major issue that many of my trials came from, the, the transitions uh, in life after coming out of the military. Well, thank you for sharing all that. I appreciate it. And I think, you know, having the story um, on your back and then going forward, providing the solution and helping people is huge. And that's yeah. the number one way to succeed also in business. So I want to talk about the business side. If somebody's watching, they want to get in contact with you. Who is who's that person that's watching right now that should reach out um, sure. for, for your help? Sure. So services. any, any <clears throat> Any professionals in the recreational therapy field, um, any instructors that teach Tai Chi, yoga, um, yoga nidra, uh, any any instructors that teach the mindfulness based uh, type of solutions we hire uh, for these veteran initiatives. So if you're looking for work, um, we can provide that for you um, and also for professionals um, in the health field, doctors, uh, you know, pri primary care physicians, psychiatrists. Um, psychologists who want to provide this type of service to their uh, their clients. Um, we truly understand uh, the HIPAA rules and the laws that come with that, hence why we have a team of professionals, uh, doctors and orthopedic surgeons who come in along our side of us. We have our own national provider number to make sure that we do everything right. So on a contractual level, um, all government agencies that are looking to bring in a new solution, a new novel um, and forward-thinking solution that is, includes technology, includes the community, includes mindfulness, includes spiritual recovery, mental recovery, physical recovery. We provide that. We provide that on a large scale, and we want to be the champions for that. So if you're a consumer and you're in Baltimore and you're looking for a location, I teach local classes here. I teach spin classes and I teach um, bar classes. Um, and so you can find me on my website, uh, www.agxgroup.org, and you'll find out more about our personal services on a nationwide scale. And we also purchase um, recreation equipment and facility design for those agencies that are looking to re refabish their, um, their health and wellness um, studios or, or rooms. Uh, we provide that service as well. Okay, that's awesome. And that's the best place for someone to reach out to you is through your website? Yeah, normally you can go to my website or yeah. find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very, very, uh, I think we found each other on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> LinkedIn, yeah. and you, you can catch me on LinkedIn too. You can find me on LinkedIn or my website. Yeah. My website and my contact information is on there. Yep. We'll make sure we post the link for your LinkedIn and your website, either awesome. above or below this video. And, yeah. uh, you know, that's, that's exactly what we're doing. We're looking for top trusted business owners. Um, that we can trust to refer people to. So this is a per perfect fit. It's great connecting with you. And yeah. I want to encourage anyone watching to 
really reach out to DeAndre and uh, AGX Group if mm -hmm. uh, you want to get in contact with them. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your story today. I appreciate it. One more thing. Um, so we are a federally certified service disabled veteran owned small business. Not many people know what that is, but um, there is a federal law that states every agency is required to um, um, relinquish 3% of their contracting dollars towards SDVSOBs. And so um, any city agent, any municipalities that are looking to develop their communities um, from an economical standpoint. Um, for example, we want to partner with the city of Baltimore, the city of Detroit, um, to come in and bring infrastructure and to bring AGX Group to their to their arenas and provide this holistic opportunity to build jobs, wow. to get people healthy, and to hire their local community. And that's what this is all about. That's taking it to a whole nother level right there. A whole level, man. <laughs> bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than me. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing that too, because I think thank that goes a long way. You know, yeah. now, now we're working with the cities, the veterans. Yep. You're just yep. able to connect with everybody. So I think that's awesome. All right, we're going to keep following you. Uh, keep up the hard work. And yes, it's sir. Great to connect with you. Anyone watching, reach out to DeAndre as soon as you can if you're able to work with them. Thanks.